What's going on, Clay Timers? I'm back. But uh, today we're going to talk about a man who can lick his own forehead. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit that little notification button to know when I put some new content out. If you're watching on, uh, if you're watching on Facebook Live, let's get to it. I'll show you everything you need to know. Welcome to Claytime in Basement Podcast Show, a show like no other. Wild over-the-top opinions from an angry, cigar-smoking, living in the basement of a house he pays on, road comic father who is technically married and understandably frustrated. Here he is, Clay Miles. What's going on, guys? Subscribe! Subscribe! How y'all doing? Sorry, I got, you know, I messed up a couple days. I just, just couldn't do it. Had to do something with the boys. Sorry. But I'm back. So let's get right to the admin stuff. Here we go. Damaged Goods, the network. Please check out the network. You can check that out at Damaged Goods, Inc. One word, dot com. All great podcasts there. All these podcasts can also be found on iTunes, Google Play, Laughable, Stitch, Stitcher, TuneIn. All those places, you got damaged goods, daddy issues, clay time in the basement, bam. Baked and waked, beta testing, and needless to say. Also, you're going to become a clay timer. Please take a, if you do get a shirt, take a picture of yourself in it. But you can get a shirt, you can get a coffee mug, you can get like a, a, a what do you call those things? You, you, you cook in, whatever. Whole bunch of stuff, check it out. At cafepress.com forward slash clay time in the basement. Also, they got the outlaw shirt here. Borrow. Cafepress.com forward slash stand up comic clay miles. What's up, David May? What's up, bro? I sell these shirts at my shows, so check it out. Speaking of shows, boom. All right, here's what we got so far this week. On the 13th, I'll be at Lake City, Florida. The next night on the 14th, I'll be in Sanford, Florida. Then on the 20th, I'll be in Avon, Ohio. December 29th, I'll be in Danville. There should be an E on there. Damn it. Danville, Virginia. So if you're anywhere close, come out and see me. Come get a shirt. Help out. Help out what's going on, and if you want to be close to me and see what's going on and stay in contact with me, bam, Twitter, you can get me at at Clay T Basement, stay up with me on the ignorance I put on there, David Murray, also, Facebook page, at Clay Time in the Basement, just at Clay Time in the Basement, be able to find me, be able to find the page, baby. Also, Instagram. We got some more ignorance up there. You got to go check out the Instagram. I cut all this stuff up and uh, make it really quick. Bang, 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 bang. For one minute, boom. Hit them and I'm out. Oh, family. Before I get started, I want to talk about, I wanted to actually say something about this uh, Kevin Hart thing. Isn't this some shit? Okay. Kevin Hart got in trouble for uh, for comments that he made in his stand-up act. Now, I understand the stuff that he said in Twitter, okay? I don't, I don't prescribe to uh, anybody, you know, doing any, you know, fucked up gay jokes. But understand, I say some fucked up shit myself. So what the fuck can I say? You know what's sad? How much ignorance I got going on in here, and I ain't gotta apologize to no one. Okay, that's when you know you ain't famous at all. When you don't have to apologize to a goddamn thing. Nobody cares what I say. That's the thing. If I ever do hit it, that's when you know. When they're, they're going to go back and look, you got to apologize for this, this, this. I'll, I'm just going to look in the camera and say, look, I am sorry. I mean, all of it is all ignorance. <laughs> but I just think that, uh, oh, what's up, Dennis? How you doing, baby? I just think that, you know what? He's a comic. It's all ignorance. And it, when we when do comics got to apologize? If you don't like the joke, which is which is cool, you know, just turn the channel or don't listen to that comic. 
But uh, you know what the what what happened to our First Amendment right to to just not be funny? I mean, it's your First Amendment right to not be funny. You know, shit. Well, the world is getting pussy whooped, dude. I mean, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen next, but I'm I am really nervous. I am really nervous for comedy when you can go after a comic. Are we going to start looking at Bugs Bunny and all these cartoons going, oh, oh, why did he hit him with a brick? I am offended. I don't, nobody done shit to a brick. I am offended. Need to apologize for that, plain basement. <laughs> That's going to be, hey, you, 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 you talk, hey, Mo, they, they going to fuck with me on that basement. Hey, what the fuck? J.J. Johnson, what's up, baby? How you doing? Very, very funny comic. J.J. Johnson is out. We all know you you aren't apologizing for shit. You damn right, Dave. You damn right. Yeah, right. Hey, man, if they get you know, it, look, Clay, you can have millions of dollars or you can apologize. I am sorry. <laughs> you can have these millions of dollars or you can apologize. I know what you guys are saying. Oh, Clay, you're just going to go ahead and give give up. You're just going to go ahead and give your heart out? It's millions of dollars. I'm in a fucking basement. Are you? I am sorry. I'm apologizing now for what I say in the future. Can I do that? Has anybody done that yet? Apologize now for what they're going to do. Can we do that? I want to go find Fox, CNN, whatever it is. I want to apologize now. Is that the basement? Yeah, this is the basement, dog. This is it. This is the world famous basement. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, yeah, JJ. This this is the basement. <laughs> All right, let's get to the first thing. That's enough playing around. I, I don't have that much time. Now give me my money, motherfucker. <laughs> Goddamn right. Right after I apologize, Dave. I am so... Sorry, I'm so sorry. Give me my money, motherfucker. Is that is that good enough? That's exactly how it's going to go down. This is some bullshit. Fuck you. Give me my money. You heard me say I'm sorry. Okay, this first thing is a guy who can lick his own forehead. I ain't ever seen no kind of shit like this. Let's just get into it. Lick his own forehead. No, oh, oh, what the fuck from the beginning? He's not even speaking English. I got to read this shit to you. Children never want to get close to me. No shit. That's what it says. It reads, children never want to get close to me. Shit, motherfucker. I am not a child, and I don't want to be close to you. I'm just looking at you. Okay, let's see what else he says. <laughs> That's a whole lot of talking without any kind of dialogue. Somebody's lazy or you talking shit. It's gibberish. Okay, some even wet their pants. Well, look at you. Look at you. You got the earrings on. You got the beard. Holy shit, you look like me. Fuck you. <laughs> He's been watching Claytime in the basement and... Bangladesh, or what? Was it? He's got a squirrel tail on his chin. <laughs> JJ says he's got a he's got a squirrel tail on his chin. All right, okay. Some even wet their pants. Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Look, 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 look at look at that! Look at that! Look at the fuck! What the fuck? He ain't got no teeth. He don't have no teeth. Looking like a squirrel, Jack. A squir a squirrel. No, looking like a Samuel Jackson on crack. Damn, Samuel Jackson be mad as hell. <laughs> it's a good thing. Uh, there's another one I'd have to apologize for uh, there, Mo. Thanks a lot. I am sorry. I am sorry, Samuel Jackson. Put me in your movies. Okay, let's see what he... I want to see this motherfucker lick, lick his forehead. Uh, oh, well, hell no. You don't have no teeth if you can do that. You don't have no teeth. That shit looks like a pussy. Why is my dick getting hard? Hey! Wrong team! Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> this motherfucker licked his forehead! Any woman here watching this, if you get wet, you have a problem, okay? You have a, you have a big problem. <laughs> you 
You don't have no teeth, okay? They, this, this ain't no wonderful, like, uh, great thing to be able to do, okay? I'd rather have teeth and not be able to do that, okay? Gene Simmons ain't got shit on this guy. <laughs> this mother... And, of course, he's from another another freaking uh, country. What the fuck? My fuck is eating his nose. He's eating his nose. This is the only motherfucker who can truthfully check his own breath. I mean, literally, he will know whether his shit is funk fine. I mean, shit, that motherfucker is, he's smelling burps. This motherfucker, fuck it. He's, you know how you, sometimes you fart on the inside, it goes just in your tummy? This motherfucker is smelling no, that shit. That is some gross shit, is all I'm saying. He says, I think I look great like this. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, if I could do that, I'd go into a little big shots. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you could do this, then you need to go ahead and get in little big shots. You need to join the circus or something. You know what I mean? Get, get paid for, for being a fucking freak. Oh, my God. Am I going to have to apologize for that? I apologize. I immediately apologize. What was I thinking? I have grown from when I said that motherfucker looks like a freak to now. I have grown. I have grown. I have got better as a person. All I'm saying. All right, let's get to this next one, because I, like I said, I ain't spending too much time here, motherfucker. I ain't, I ain't spending too much time. All right, this next one is, uh, this, these people had the nerve to bedazzle a bird. Okay, how fucking lazy. Not lazy, because this isn't lazy. This is not lazy. This is not lazy. This is when you have nothing to do in your life. No apologies, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave, that I apologize. I'm, I'm putting it out there. I have grown, Dave. I have grown from, from when I first said I apologize for calling that motherfucker, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, uh, a bitch. Um, I apologize, Dave. I apologize for apologizing. Oh, shit. It's Howard G. What's going on, Howard G? All right. We got, we got some amazing comedians out here tonight. We got some amazing headliners, guys who, who've actually I've, I've rode with. Very, very funny. Check this guy out. Very funny, people. Howard G. Bam! That's the man right there. That's one of the legends of D.C. All right, now, this is a, a bedazzled bird. Okay, what we just get into it. A bedazzled bird. Still looking for the owner of a pigeon found wearing a rhinestone vest. Jody Kieran is the director. He's a rhinestone cowbird. Doom, doom. What the fuck are y'all doing? I'm I'm just asking. Rhinestone Cowbird. AJT, what's up? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I agree, Dave May. You been you been on the road? Yeah, I've been on the road a little bit, just a little bit, little bit. I'm going to Florida. Going to Florida this week. Okay, let's finish talking about this Rhinestone Cowbird. Feathers. Feathers. And George is now from Peoria, Arizona. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Is that the little pigeon there? This is our friend right here. Yes. You have not. Well, now I got to get out of that girl's face. Yes, everybody. I'd fuck her. Not the one on the right. Okay, the one on the left. Let's get it right. No, let's get it. Let's get past all that. Okay. Let's let's see what she's talking what about. What was this pigeon found? found? He was, he was found, found in, in uh, Peoria, Peoria, basically 61st Avenue and, and Bell, um, at, at somebody's home, and was, was outside, outside of her yard, or outside, outside of her door, door and, and just, just kind of... This motherfucker was running from this lady, with the rhinestone on. He literally found somebody, he was like a slave. And he's like, you gotta understand, I have a rhinestone jacket on, okay? I don't even know the song. Save me. Get me away from this bitch. I don't like rhinestones. Do you know how heavy it is for me to carry rhinestones 
Do you know how much I had to work out to try to go ahead and get strong enough to to fly over here with rhinestones? I don't like stones. Shit, I don't even like the stones. Is all I'm saying. Been there and been there overnight and had left, so she brought him to us. All right, so you. He was hiding from you. He was hiding out. Look at that motherfucker. He's sitting over there giving bird freaking sign language, was trying to blink his way at somebody help me. This bitch, get a cat. I said pigeon, pigeon and, and you notice it's got, it's got this rhinestone vest on. Tell, Tell me a bit about, about that. that. Well, well, what it is, is, is a flight suit. suit. And, a and a lot, lot of people who have pet birds will use, will use them. them. That's some bullshit. Who, you're the only motherfucker I've ever heard who uses a, 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 a bird with a flight suit. Let me explain. Why the fuck? There's a bird need a flight suit, okay? Hey, if he needed a flight suit, God would have given him a flight suit, okay? That's all I'm saying. What, 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 the, what, what in your life makes you think that I have to go to that next level, okay? It's not okay to just have a bird and go, pretty bird, no. I've got to help him out. He's got to look cool because i got to let people know that I take care of my birds. I mean, people might be coming in, looking at my window going, look at that naked bird. What's wrong with that bitch? No, I'm going to make a flight suit for my bird. What the fuck is wrong with people? Oh, okay, okay. To be able to have the bird on their shoulder like I have, but it collects the poop so you don't end up with it all down your back. So Wait, that, that's actually kind of brilliant. <laughs> This bitch would have been rich. This, uh, this bitch would have been fucking, uh, what do you call it? Rich, rich as fuck back in pirate times because that's the only person who would need it to go ahead and to catch the poop. So she made a diaper out of rhinestones for a bird. That's what I've heard. Hold on. I never heard of a bird with a flight suit. That's what I'm talking about. But David, now we figured out that th this bird, this, this ain't no flight suit. It's a diaper for the bird so the bird don't shit on you, okay? If the bird shits on you, just so you know, he don't like you, just so you know. That's how I know. Why? Because every time I walk outside, birds hit me all the time. They're looking for my bald head. I had one bird spell his name on my forehead, okay? Gilbert. I don't know why I know, because when I did this and talked to somebody, somebody said, Gilbert. So I go, shit, it says Gilbert. I guess that's the name of the motherfucker who shit on me. I don't understand. Fuck these birds. <laughs> It's unique for any bird. This mother, do you see this bird showing off? It's like he's looking at me, leaning, leaning back and shit. I ain't in no basement. I ain't in no basement. Fuck you. All right, what the fuck is wrong with this bird? I'm, I'm so fucking sick of this goddamn bird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, I, I, I... Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? Where's the hammer? Is it on the... Uh, go go on. Fuck people. All I'm saying. <laughs> Fuck people. All right. This, this last one, and then I'm out. Then I'm out. This last one was a snowball fight. <laughs> Michael B. Sykes. What's up, baby? How you doing? <laughs> Fuck that bird. <laughs> I didn't write. Fuck that bird. Uh I don't know if you know this, but I think this is in Colorado. Uh, snowball fights are illegal, okay? And they just made it legal. So let me tell you something about Colorado. Colorado is a magical place because uh, weed is legal. But hitting somebody with a snowball, oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. You should just stand over there and smoke your weed. Okay, and don't you throw no snowball at nobody. Who the fuck's throwing? I mean, anyway, you know what I mean. That's why. They, that's why they, they made this shit illegal, because they're probably hitting nothing but stoners who can't move. Oh shit! There's a snowball coming at me. Oh fuck! Down a straight stretch of country highway. 
Hebrews Coffee Shop is the gossip hotspot. Yeah, yeah, we have eyes on everything, everything except one thing, and it has to do with the really old law. You see, in Severance, you can make as many snowballs as you want, but it's illegal to throw them. It is. So then, some arrest that bitch. Arrest her. Did you see? She broke the law. No, 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 this is some bullshit. I don't care how hot she is, because she thinks she's beautiful. She thinks she can break the goddamn law. She just told you it's a law, and then she broke it. Uh, please tell me there's a cop there. Where the cops at? Beat her down. Is all I'm saying? She's got a weapon. Fire away. She's got a weapon. Legal to throw them. It is. No way. Yep. That's so weird. Across the street of town. How the hell don't you know that, and you live in the fucking town? How many snowballs have you thrown, bitch? Is all I'm saying. Oh, that is crazy. Nine-year-old Dane Best thought so, too. Because little kids should be able to throw snowballs. I think we teach them. It was standing room only. And here today to hopefully change the law about throwing snowballs. To hear the outcome. This kid is a bully. I saw you know right now. This kid is a bully. And he's one of those fuckers who used to hit me with snowballs when I was a kid. And that's the only reason he wants to be able to do it. He wants to be able to bully kids. Okay, and we should not let him do this because those kids that he hits with snowballs come back with guns later on. How about that? Huh? Do I got to apologize for that one, Dave May? <laughs> I apologize. I don't know where what I, where that came from. Let me explain to you something. I have grown. I have grown from the first part where I talked about a snowball to now. I've grown from there to here. I, I'm getting better as a person. Hold on. Weed is legal and over. <laughs> And the overall IQ dropped 20 points. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> all I'm saying. Okay, all right. Let's see the rest this of it. This is very important change. Many kids need to read reason to play outside. And after a short debate, it sounds like you're having an anonymous past. You know, this is some bullshit, okay? This is like a movie. This is how high these motherfuckers are right now that they let a child come in there and, and declare law. And, and, and these motherfuckers are so fucking smoked out high. They're like, let's just say yes. Wouldn't it be cool if we say yes? There had to be a reason why they weren't letting motherfuckers throw snowballs. It's all I'm saying. There had to be a good reason. So why the hell is this kid come in looking like he, he's a bully? And then look at that kid, the other kid looking over there. It's illegal to throw snowballs with weed in it. <laughs> no, that actually makes it legal, uh, JT. That actually makes it legal. If you throw the snowball and put the weed in it, you were saying, I was just trying to give him weed. And, and I had to put it in a snowball so I could throw it over to him. I wasn't trying to hit him with a snowball. Yeah, that's, that's the only way you get away with that shit. That's how high these parents are. Look how high she is. Look at him. Look like a throw a fucking snowball. Where the goddamn police? Well, to take advantage of the newly Who did he hit? Who did he hit? Special de special delivery. Foot loose with snowballs. Call it loose balls. <laughs> That's an old joke. That's an old one. Hey, Mike, that's an old joke. You gotta have to watch the movie Footloose to understand that. And, but but then you gotta open up the Bible like he did in Footloose. And the Lord threw a snowball. Threw a snowball. <laughs> that was good, Mike. That was real good. God damn, Mike. I wish I wish I'd have thought of that. I'm gonna, you gotta write for me. That was fucking awesome. Oh my god, that is good. They can listen to me, listen to me. Like, like I do this all the time. And if I go out at the, at the house with the little girl, that has a toy. Why the fuck you throwing yeah, snowballs, kid? Okay. Why you why you throwing snowballs? Why you, you, you listen to me? Why are you throwing snowballs? Why are you throwing snowballs? Oh, family. Thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. Just so you know, if you like the show, I actually got a tip jar. 
I think it's up there, top, up top. You guys can give me a couple dollars, help the pro, help the program grow, so I can be able to do it every day, like I'm trying to do it. But sometimes I'm not able to, to get out here, cause you know me, I love I love to be I love. I'm live, y'all. I'm 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 live. I'm live. You know I love to be live. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get out of here. Let me just tell you guys real quick again. Bam, got got uh, the Damaged Goods Network. This is where you can check out all the podcasts. Also, you can check it out on iTunes, all those good places. DamagedGoodsInc.com. Fucking Chucky. Fucking Chucky. Got... All right, okay, all right. Also, we got my shows December 13th. This week, Lake City, Florida, bam. December 14th, next night, Sanford, Florida, bam. December 20th, next week, Avon, Ohio. December 29th, Danville, Virginia. And also January 7th, got to put this one on there. I will be in Baltimore. All right, bam. I want to thank you guys for coming out again. You guys have been outstanding. I really do appreciate it. I did longer for you. Way, way long, longer than I should. <laughs> but anyway, fuck it. But I appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. And I love you, and I'm out. Now, first were you very smooth. I hit the button. I don't know why. So, now it's time to put out your cigars, walk back in your arms, put those destructive opinions back in your emotional lockboxes, and put your politically correct mask back on. Plausible denial is recommended, and good alibis are suggested. If called upon to testify in a confessional hearing, I don't know you, and you don't know me. If walking those fine lines appeals to you, find him on Twitter, at Clay T Basement, and Facebook page, the Late Time in Basement Podcast Show. Thanks for listening. Go take a bath. You need to wash this off.